dozens of volunteers and advocates lined up for a photo on the Capitol steps. Moms demand action for gun sense spent Wednesday asking lawmakers to consider passing bills it believes could end gun violence. One piece of legislation would require concealed carry applicants to show proof they passed a required safety training course. Another is Senate Bill 6288, which would establish a statewide office that supports gun violence reduction initiatives and funds studies throughout the state. The solutions that we pursue um, are not about taking anything away from people, it's about creating safer communities. But some opponents to the legislation argue the bills target law-abiding citizens unfairly, curtails the Second Amendment, and ignores laws already on the books that should keep guns out of the hands of criminals. That was was and continues to be a complete nightmare for my family. Um, he he was our, our little brother, but we all kind of looked up to him. He was our, our, the baby brother, but our, our heartbeat. Jay Ward is no stranger to gun violence. He and his family moved to Washington State a number of years ago after his younger brother, Adam, and his coworker, Allison Parker, were both gunned down on live TV by a former coworker in Virginia. Ward is in Olympia speaking with lawmakers. Washington has been um, at the forefront of, of, of very important gun violence prevention measures, um, but Washington's really lagging behind on this training requirement. Now Jay works in Washington lobbying for new laws that he believes would prevent a similar shooting from happening here. Wanted to find a way to get involved, um, but it wasn't until Adam was murdered that we felt this huge push to, to, to really get involved and, and help prevent others from from walking through this tragedy that we've experienced. In Olympia, Steve Kiggins, Q13 News.